Hello, people. Good evening. Hi, hi. Good evening, teacher. Hey, guys. How are you? Welcome. Thanks. How are you guys? How are you? How are you? Lou, Lou. Hi, hi, teacher. Good evening. Sure. Good evening. Happy, happy? Yes. Excellent. It's a new day. A Monday, a new week, new day, new week, new opportunities. From yes. Today, from today on, we're going to have a lot of opportunities. Yes. Yes. All right. Excellent. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I, I see very few people. I just see eight people today, but for the moment, uh, hopefully the rest will will start joining or we'll continue joining. Yes, I see Alba, Andrea, Karen, Rosemary, Fanny, Magdiel, and Carlos, Ernesto. May you guys be welcome. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Yes. Right. How was your weekend, people? ¿Cómo les fue fin de semana? Good, bad, more or less. I do. Did you work, Karen? Yeah, I have two jobs. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not good. Not, be, not good for your body, but good for your pocket. <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. So no. <laughs> All right, that, that's okay. That's okay. Well, but you're okay. You look okay. That's that's a good thing. Yes, that's a good thing. Yes. What about the rest? Como les fue? Al demás como les fue? How was your week? Just to enfermo. man. I was sick. Sick. I was sick. Yes. Really? What What did you have? Mm, tenía infección intestinal, diarrea. Oh, okay. I get it now. Stomach problems. Let's say. Stomach. Stomach problems. Stomach problems, you can say. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Did you drink uh, serum or something? Me. Do you drink? Serum. Suero. I don't understand. Yes, yes, yes. I drink many, many suero. A lot of, a lot of serum. Yes. Okay. That's a, that's good. That's good. Okay. Are you now, okay? Now? I, I am excellent teacher now. Excellent. That's that's good. That's good. That's amazing. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Yes. Thank you. What about Magdiel, Fanny, Rosemary, Andrea, and Alba? How was your weekend, people? Fine, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Fine, teacher. <sighs> Suena como que está. Okay. Ah. okay. <laughs> what What did you do, Alba? ¿Qué hizo? Ah, salí a pasear. You went out. Where did you go? Uh, aquí cerca salí. Cerca de la frontera de los chinos. No oh, idea. Ni idea. <laughs> <laughs> Llegando a Guatemala. Ah, okay. Okay. I get it now. I get it. That's, that's, that's all right. That's good. That's that's terrific. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Good for you, Alba. All right. Uh, well, Carlos Aleman, welcome. Jair, welcome, both of you. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I will attend. Uh, will take attendance right now and uh, and I will give you some instructions and then we were like. All right, today is Monday the 23rd. All right. Let, let me take attendance. Uh, Alba Janet Jimenez Cabrera. Present teacher. Ana Marcela Argueta Santos. Ana is not here yet. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Hi. 
Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Presente, Chero. Carlos Josué Pascasio García. César Arquímedes Moreno Flores. César Arquímedes Moreno Jonathan Mauricio Galvez Juárez. José Jair Lobo Pérez. Present, teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Marcela Karina Melgar Alas. Present, teacher. Hi. Margarita Rosemary Pérez Ayala. Present. Hello. María José Hernández Auceda. Present teacher. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Reinaldo Antonio Hernández Acevedo. Sandra Yanira Ayala Jiménez. Silvia Guadalupe Romero, Monto Romero Montoya. Uh, Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Fanny Judith uh, Palacios de Oliva. Present, teacher. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present, teacher. All right, very good. I have already taken the attendance. Welcome everybody, a pleasure to see you. You look fantastic. Well, solo veo cuatro nomás. Y los cuatro se ven fantásticos. Okay. Excepto yo. Yo veo super fantástico. Hey, hey. Café te lo mando ya, buena mañana. <laughs> okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. No he tomado café, tengo un poco de sueño porque no he tomado café todo el día. Bueno, sí, en la mañana lo tomé como cinco, pero no cuentan. Okay, this is un poquito. <laughs> All right, excellent. Uh, let's start. Let me open the book. Today we we're, we're gonna have a very easy topic. It's it's very simple to understand. It's just one one word, one word that we're going to learn. So aprendemos una palabra este día que es bien sencilla de entenderla. But we're going to see this word later on. La vemos más tarde, okay? Oh, people, before I forget, remember that if you get the, well, I think you've got it already, the survey on your emails, do not do it, please. All right, do not do the survey yet because we're not going to do it. We're going to do it on, uh, on Wednesday. Okay, as I was saying, the survey that you got on the email or, or your emails, we're not going to do it. You're not going to do it, all right? You're not going to do the survey. We're going to do it on Wednesday, okay? Haremos la encuesta el día miércoles. Así que no la hagan, no la abran, okay? Ya saben, ¿verdad? Pero recordándoles que así es. Oh, I'm kind of lost here. I'm curious. Yeah, it's a very... All right, very good. We're going to start and uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm going to show you, hey, Raul, welcome. A pleasure to see you, well, to have you here. Let me share the book with you all and let me know if you guys get to see the book, please. Do you guys see I the got book? It. All right, all right, excellent, excellent. Very good. We continue with uh, unit number four, which is about tech support, as you can see. And uh, today we have this objective that says, I will be able to make polite requests. All right. Uh, people, how do you say request in Spanish or what is request? Can anybody tell me what request is? 
Guys, can anybody tell me what request is? Pedido. Sorry? Pedido. Yes, you are right. You are right, okay. Uh, request means request means uh, what she said. Okay, un pedido, solicitud, or to be more more like like uh, casual with this, we can say that request is a favor. It's un favor. Okay, very much. To be more specific or to be more casual, uh, a request is a favor. Polite is is uh, well educated. Okay, es cortés, educado. Okay, that's what it is. All right, very good. Then we have two questions here in part number one. Tenemos dos preguntas acá en parte uno. Okay, and the questions say, do you ever make requests? If so, what kind of requests do you make? If so, what kind of requests do you make? That is the question. Can anybody please help me answer the question? Un voluntario que me ayuda a responder. A volunteer? Yes, I'm listening. Excuse me? A volunteer to, to help me read. No, ese okay. es el ejemplo, excuse me. Sorry? Excuse me. Como un ejemplo. Mm. Okay. No, but it says here that if you ever, if you ever make requests, si a veces hace solicitudes o si pide algo, Luego dice, if, if so, what kind of requests do you make? ¿Qué tipo de, de, de eh, solicitudes hace? ¿Alguien me ayude? ¿Alguien? ¿Alguien? Hello, hello, people. If you don't tell me, I'm going to... Yeah, teacher. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank Very you. Much. In my case, and some things, and I don't know, is a request when I request a paper to the office. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that is a kind of request in my somewhere. In the okay, okay. That's, that's a request. All right. All right. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, an example can be people, an example can be for, uh, that you don't have time, okay? No tiene mucho tiempo, you don't have time, and you need to call 10 clients, okay? One request could be uh, help with, with, the, with the calls to clients, okay? Like, hey, you know, I need help for clients or to call clients, and you use uh, the word to 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 express the request, okay? Like help me with the with the calls, please. That will be a request, okay? Yes. But we will practice this later on, okay? Because we need to see to see how how it really is, okay? I know the question. The questions here in number one are kind of weird. Some bastante extrañas preguntas están acá, okay? You know, cuesta mucho that 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 respuesta, okay? in your case now but we're going to practice later on all right right now let's go to this part over here it's a very long conversation as you can see very very long listen to me I just listen to me read the conversation then practice with the partner over here in the, in the in the classroom or in the class okay carlos Pascasio, welcome Let's do this. It says, uh, let me read. I need you guys to listen, check the vocabulary because I, I think you might see or you might find new words here on this, on this uh, conversation. Uh, let me do something here. Okay. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. 
uh, well, I don't know what this is. Question mark. We received a new printer and uh, I need help setting up. Setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Uh, could you hold on uh, a second, please? Um, it's an Altipage MX30. Okay, first, make sure the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. All right, that's the conversation. Guys, I, I'm, I'm guessing you have questions about the vocabulary, so it's time to answer them. Preguntas de vocabulario para poder responderles. Ultipage. Ultipage is the computer. The printer, sorry, la, 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 la impresora, acá está. The new printer, okay. And the person, Max, <coughs> Max is asking Joe, could you tell me the model, the modelo, okay? Déjame <coughs> reviso. Uh, espera un segundo, dice después. Dice, ah, oh, it's an Altipage. Altipage es la marca de la, de, o el modelo de la impresora. Altipage MX30. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, ¿a qué se refiere cuando dice setting it up? Configurarla o ajustarla. Okay. Configurarla. Must be it. Okay. We're, it says we received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Okay. Requiero ayuda para poder configurarla o instalarla o ajustarla o prepararla como ustedes quieran llamar. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. People, what else? En el último párrafo donde dice, is this in Detroit? Detroit. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, over here, second, it says, check that the installation CD is in the tray. El tray es la bandeja donde ponemos el CD. Que por el, que normalmente, si es una computadora de, 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 de bueno, no, no es un compu, ¿no? que es, sí, bueno, la compu, es verdad. Uh, ponemos el CD en la, en la compu, en, 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 en donde va el CD. Entonces, ese es la, la, el tray. Bandeja. Yes. <laughs> okay, what else, people? La palabra Troy aplica solamente para PC. No, 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 no. También es las la que se usan en los restaurantes, la que llaman la comida. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, core is plugged, plugged in. Plugged in, plugged in. En ese caso es plugged in. Plugged in. Yes. What's plugged the meaning? In. Plugged in es conectado. El core es el cable. En este caso es la fuente o, la, o el cargador, como decimos. Okay? Power core es la, la extensión que carga la, la impresora o la computadora. Plugged in es conectado okay? o enchufado. ¿Sabes? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Power core, eh, mencionó que es el cable. Yes, yes, power core, es la fuente. Mm -hmm. Yes, power core. Done, okay. Let me read again. I'm going to read slowly this time, okay? Hello, Max. Uh, sorry, hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe and I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Could, can you hold on? Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's an Altipage MX30. Okay. First, make sure that the power core is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. 
una, esto acá se une, ok, bueno, la D, la D se une con, con, la, con, el, con la preposición acá, sería DIN, ok, DIN, unido, con una sola palabra, eso sería plugged in, plugged in, all right, yes, all right, very good. And uh, well, let's work on the let's work on the practice on the on the conversation. We're going to practice the conversation, and then we're going to continue with part number three as we always do. Okay, so I need you guys to practice this conversation. The groups are, are going to be small. I'm just gonna create four or five. Okay, I don't want big groups today. So people, take take turns practicing the conversation okay participen tomen tomen sus turnos para poder hacerlo okay yes here we go okay five is is okay so i will see you guys there practice the conversation and do part number three, please let's go let's do this let's copy vamos <coughs> Wilber and Sandra, did you guys did you guys receive the okay? Sandra, did you receive the invitation? Miguel, hello. Hi, Miguel. What happened? ¿Qué le pasó? <laughs> me escucha. Can you hear me? Okay, first. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is the plowing. All right, it is. Could uh, could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second. Check that the installation CD is the is in the trade and trade ons once the menu appeared on this screen. Click on complete installing. Install. Install, pardon. No sé si cambiamos el orden, si quiere. Sí, cambiamos. Okay. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How you can I help? No, how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Kips. Come. We received the new printer, and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. 
Can you hold on one second, please? Um, it's an Ultate MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is a plugging. plugging. All right, it is clone. You tell me what I knew. Do next, please. Ya sé que lo dije mal. Era plug, plug, plugging. 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 Ya me lo señalaron ahí. Um, second, check that the installation CD is in the in the tray. And third. Once the menu menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. ¿Cómo se menciona lo de arriba, teacher? Es pips. Es pips, es pips, pero se olvidó como el punto se me olvidó. Pips. Dejó el punto. Ajá. Pips.com. Yes, exactly, exactly. And this one is, is, is recordemos, recordemos. Refresquemos la memoria. Recordemos que a veces, not always, ok, sometimes la U se pronuncia como A, ok, en este caso aplica, ok, plug, plugged in, plugged in. Plug it's, not plug, it's not plugged in, it's plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. No, no, it's not plug, it's plug on A. Plugged in. Plugged in, no unido. Uh, y si no, estuviera, si no estuviera si no estuviera esa 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 ed ahí sería plug in plug in separado pero esa esa ed más bien la d une la preposición ok plug in plug in desconectado desconectado sería plug plug out plug out ok o plug out lo mismo, plugged out, doubt, plugged out, ok. O, o podemos decir unplugged, ok. Unplugged. Oh. All right, muy bien. Ok. Uh, I think Sandra is here, but Sandra is driving, but I'm not sure about Arturo's availability. No hay problema ahorita conmigo, aquí estoy con todo. Ok. Eso. Excellent, excellent. Rosemary, Cesar, who can, can you guys help? I think I give a chauffeur for this. Okay. Eh, no sé si quiere empezar, Raúl. Okay, no hay problema. Hello, this is Max, Max Frontech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for kids.com we receive the new printer i am new i am need help setting i need i need setting. i need help setting it up call you help me please no problem joe could you tell me the model let me check can you hold on a second please Um, it is a ultimate page MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is, it is. Call you tell me what I knew to the next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, Once the, me, the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. All okay. right, over here yes. we have this. Okay, aplica la mismo que está acá, la D y la I, I N con la D y la e O N. Don, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yes, okay. Y acá sería. I need to do, to do next. I need to do next, okay? That's how it would be. Okay. okay. No sé si quieren invertir los roles con Rosemary. Yes, so if you want to, okay? Let me go to a different group. No hay problema. See you later. Can you help me, please? Uh, 
Probably don't. <laughs> Tell me. Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's an ulti page MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check the installation CD is in the drive. And the once the menu appears on the screen, click on Delete Install. Okay. Okay. Hola. Sí, sí, he empezado. Okay. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Beat.com. We received the new printer, and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joey. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Um, it's a 50 page MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power core is fluid. Uh, all right, it is. Can you tell me what I need next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, the click on complete install. Okay. Hello, uh, teacher. Hi, people. Excellent. Thank you for, for practicing. Vamos a aquí a la plot. Esta palabra no la pronunciaron bien. Pero, ¿cuál es esta? Dice. Y así como está ahí. No le he escrito. Pluri. No, no, no. Plot. 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 Okay. Oh yeah, keep uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I I kind of heard once. This is once, 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 once. Okay. Seguimos. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yes. If you, if, what, what about Sylvia? Is Sylvia available? Yes. Sylvia, okay. Sylvia, Sylvia and Andrea. Empiezo yo, si Bye, Sylvia. Hello. This is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi hey Max, my name is Joy. I work for Pips.com. We received the new printer in the in I need help setting setting it up. Uh, could you help me please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second? Oh, this Unti page uh, MX30. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right. It is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? I can check that the installation CD is in the tray. And there, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete and stop. Okay, ahora empiezo yo. Hello, this is Max from the tech support hub. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work from fit.com to receive the new printer, and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? 
No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you, uh, can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's an ulti page in match 30. Okay, first, make, make sure that's, that the power current is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD in, is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the script, clean or complete, complete install. Okay, there you go. All right, people. Excellent, thank you very much for your participation. Let me go to another group, all right? If you want, you can continue practicing, okay? Thank you. Okay. Hey, teacher. Yeah, yes, uh, I'm there, there. In the último párrafo, and there. 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 Appears. Mm. They, they years. Yeah. Sí, yeah. Usted, so, um, it's como dijo recibe es re, re, recibe 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 Receive. 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 Vaya. Ulti pain. Y esa es alti. Donde dice ulti pain. Alti pain. Alti pain. Alti pain. Alti pain. Vaya. Bien. Vaya, si Entonces, quieren, Marce, comencemos. Ok. Y después los compañeritos. Bien. Hello, this is Max from Teach Support. How, how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Cho. I work for Pitch.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting that. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joy. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Could you hold on a second, please? Uh, this is Optibridge. Optibridge. MX13. Okay, first, make sure that the power core is Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged, ¿cómo? Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. No, no, it's not plugged in. It's plugged in. Plugged in. Ah, plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Okay. Okay, plugged in. Plugged All in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need? I... <laughs> To do next. What I need next, please. Second, <laughs> check the the installation CD. Is the is in the drive, and third, once the menu uh, menu appears on the screen, click on complete. Install. Install. Okay. Bye. Hoy le toca a Fanny y a Isao. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pips.com. Okay. 
we received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. How you tell me, you tell me the model. Let me check. Can I hold on a, on a second, please? Um, it's a uh, ulti page MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power core is plugged in. Plug 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 okay. All right. It is. Uh, could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, the check that the installation CD is in the drive, and there once the menu, 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 the upper menu, Appears. upper appears on the screen, click on complete install. install. Complete, complete install. Complete install. Complete install. Okay. And the question, teacher. Continue with the hub. Huh? Yes, did you finish? En la primera, pensamos que es, could you, could you tell me what the model is? Yes, yes. What about number two? And two, maybe Ken? Can okay. you describe? Yes, yes, that works. Can you describe the problem, please? Yes. What is the difference in the code and can? Ya lo veremos. Okay. Yes. Thank you for asking. Gracias por preguntar. Okay, ya está apartado. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Don't worry. Let me go to another group, okay? Thank you guys for your participation. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks, teacher. Blue Dean. All right. It is cool. You tell me what I need to do next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is the tribe. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm here. I'm listening. Hi, teacher. Okay. Bueno, si gusta, Carlos y, y Jonathan lo leen para okay. ticha. Yes, okay. 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 Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an Ultipage MX-30. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you... Tell me what I need to do next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. Le mostramos la tercera parte, teacher. Yes, please, please. Thank you. Yes, both, both are correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And we, we, we can use could. I mean, we can use can. 
También se puede usar can. Ok. Sí. Ok. Mm -hmm. En estos casos no hay una diferencia, digamos, clara entre can eh, y could. O sea, es podrías o, o, pod o puedes, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero no hay una diferencia. There's a difference. Yes. And I will explain that difference later on. Ok. Go up. Vamos arriba. Ok. Ok. Uh, over here. Today we are learning. Este, vamos a aprender un poquito más arriba. Uh, vamos a aprender a cómo decir, bueno, hacer sus estudios, pero de una forma cortés o educada. Y como okay. pueden ver acá abajo, tenemos solamente usos de el food. Ok. Okay. Dar, darles un pequeño, un pequeño, solo un, un quien aparece acá. Ok, solamente aparece good en todas. Ok. Yes. Ok. Darles un, un medio, medio uh, introducción. El, el good es formal. Ok. Y el okay. quien tiende a ser un poco, o quizás no, no informal, pero más bien común. Ok. Común. Ok. okay. Pero, pero digamos, aparte de esa diferencia, no, no hay otra. Yes, yes. <ríe> es, es bien complejo. Pero ya, ya les explico, ¿ok? No worry, don't worry. Ok. Ya está apartado, ¿ok? <ríe> All right. Let me... Well, no escu ¿A quién me escuché acá? No escuché a, a, a Jonathan, creo. Eh, ¿Cómo no? Eh, yo era, era, era el que no he practicado el diálogo con ellos. Ah... Es que yo estaba leyendo al principio. Yo no le escuché. Pero usted dijo que estaba escuchando, entonces, bueno, pero entonces, ¿quién me ayuda? Sí, le escuché, pero no es el No es el comienzo. Ok, okay. Carlos, si gusta, yo soy, yo soy Max. Max. Ok, okay. perfecto. Hello. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work the pips.com. We receive the new printer and I need help setting it, it, it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an Ultipage MX30. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is closed in. I'm right. It is. Um, puedes bajar un poquito para ver el. el... Okay. Uh, all right. It is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD. Sí, pero quise hacer okay. esto de escribir en la arena. And third. Once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Go down, please. Go to part three. Thank you for your participation. Go to part three, please. Okay. Yeah, 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 Okay, thank you guys for your participation. Okay. Once the menu appears on the screen, clean on complete install. Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm here. Hi, teacher. Llegó tarde, llegó tarde porque ya los tres repasamos, le dimos vuelta, uno por uno, ya, se terminó, ya llegó tarde. Entonces, entonces como no, no han intentado una, démosla al revés. Iniciamos desde el final, desde el final para arriba. Ok. <laughs> Son bromas. All right. Yeah, but I, 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 would, I would like to, to hear you guys. Yeah, okay. The part three is okay. Part three is okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, but I will, I will still, uh, I would like to hear you guys practice the conversation. Yes. Yo casi no le escuchaba. Okay. Albita y José pueden hacer la, la, la conversación ahorita. Ok. Ok. Se está durmiendo. 
Comience, don Jose. Okay. Hello, this ah, is Max okay. from Tech Support. How can I help you? Oh, yo, hello, this is from Tech Support. Hi, Cam. I help you. Ah, okay, yo continue. Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pix.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it out. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you time the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's a multi page MX story. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. First. Here. Make sure that the power core is flowing in. Plug, plugged in. All right. It is called Plug to tell in. me what I need to in. do next, please. Second. Check it on the Installation CD is the the dry um dry on the medium uppers on the secret screen on the screen click on complete complete install click on complete install install complete install install Completely installed. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Adam, you're next. Okay. Who want practice with me? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you practice with me? Me? Hi. You? Oh, okay. Jair says that he wants to participate. Okay. There you go. Uh, hello, this is this. <laughs> hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pips.com. We received the new printer, and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's a multi page MX30. Okay, if we make sure the, that the power core is plugging. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second check that is, uh, the installation CD is in the try. And three on the, min the menu appears on the screen. Clip on complete install. Excellent. All right. Yes. Excellent. Thank you guys for for reading. All right. And uh, excellent, excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Let me give you this. It's here. Here. Look. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, come on. I see you. Okay, no. <laughs> let's go. Let's go back. Hey, yeah, let's hear some coffee, por favor. Be careful with your cat. Please. Deja el gat, deja el gatito en paz. Mira, está tan gatito. Es que me está poniendo la cola en la cara. <laughs> Porque él aparece eh, él, así, eh, eso en la, en la pantalla. Esto. ¿Qué parece aquí? ¿Qué? qué ¿Por qué parece así? En la mía. ¿Cómo? Ya se quitó. Oh, ya porque voy a poder aparecer una, una, una parte negra que aparece ahí no sé qué ella esconde lo que lo que está ahí <ríe> no sé ticha <ríe> okay let's let's go back to the main session people I will see you guys there okay let's go okay okay
Gracias. Ok, no problem. So let's go back to the main session. Let's go. Hi, we're back. We'll be more. Excellent people, thank you for your participation. You did a very good job. And let's continue here with this. I am, I am sharing the presentation with you. And I believe that you are able to see it now. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see the conversation? Yes, teacher. All right. Uh, well, today, today it says it says there. Dice. Let's read. Let's read what it says. How to use good? How to use good for polite requests? Okay, or for polite and formal requests? Okay. Como usar good para solicitar algo de una forma formal o cortés o cordial o educada. Okay, yes, that's that's what it is. All right. Today is the class number 18. We're just missing two more classes and we will be done. Okay. And we will never see each other again. <laughs> okay. It is true. Okay. Uh, guys, let's just start with this. Ah, no, it is not bad. It is what it is. It says, let's review yesterday's topic. Okay, people, let's review Friday's, Friday's topic, not yesterday's topic, because we, we did not see this yesterday. Do you remember, do you remember would like to? ¿Qué significa would like to people? Gustaría. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Yes, right, right. ¿Qué sigue después del tú? What, 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 uh, what do you place or what do you put after the preposition to? Un verbo. Verbo, uh -huh. Okay, exactly, exactly. We place we place a verb, okay, like the examples we have here. Like the examples we have here, okay? Like we, we start with, with, with set a sentence with the subject pronoun, okay, or with the subjects. Uh, as you can see, we had the subject over here, which is the first thing here. And also we had the subjects down here, okay? So we start the sentence with the subject pronouns or with subjects then we continue the structure or the sentence with would like to okay would like to is here as you can see after the, the preposition to or after would like to we need a verb okay we need a verb yes uh as you can see up here in the structure we have the verb and the complement the verb is check supervise send and write and then we have some possible some possible complements for for the sentences. Okay, so for example, I would like to supervise the production. In Spanish, would be me gustaría supervisar la producción. Okay, another example, uh, we would like to write uh, uh, the reports. Nos gustaría escribir los reportes. Right, that's how it is. Uh, easy, right? Después de would like to, usamos un verbo y así hacemos o formamos la, formamos la oración. Ok, ahora, vamos, uh, let's see, are there people, are there people that can, give, well, look at this, tell your own examples. So, are there any people that could give me examples? Not everybody, though, but I just need some examples. Ejemplos, people, ¿quién para ejemplos? ¿Quién la valiente? El valiente. La valienta. Me. Ok. María, excelente. Thank you, María. <laughs> Let me see. I would like to travel a uh, París. Vámonos. Se le olvidó el to. Would like to travel to Paris. Ok. I would like to travel to Paris. Excel, excellent, excellent. A ver a Kylian Mbappé. Uh. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Maria, for your example. It was a very good example. All right. Anybody else? Alguien más? People. Practice, people. Practice, practice. Practiquemos. 
I would like to dancing in the party. I, repeat a lot. Repeat, please. I would like to dancing dance in the party. Ajá, que lo, lo decía unido, se escuchaba como dancing, dancing. Es, es, sí, dance in the party, right? Yes. I would, people, example, I would like to hear more examples. I would like to eat pupusas right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, Rosemary. A good example. I would like to be sleeping right now. <laughs> okay, Jair. Thank you, Jair. I, I would like to travel the, to Costa Rica. Okay, I would like to travel to Costa Rica. I would like to have a lot of money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> People, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? We would like to make a performance. We didn't hear the last, lo, no, lo último no se escuchó. Repítalo, Silvia. Lo we último. Like to make a performance. Okay, we would like to make a performance. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. Okay. We would like to drink coffee. Okay, I would like to drink coffee. Yes, Wilbert would like to have two, two women. <laughs> yes, I... Uh, no, no sé cómo responderlo, <laughs> pero yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I, I'd love, I, would, I would love to. Okay. Recordemos que podemos también usar el, el I would. Okay. I would love to, que se parece mucho a este. Okay. I would love to, que es prácticamente lo mismo. Aunque would like to es me gustaría. Okay. And would love to es me encantaría. All right. Yes. Voy a intentar, pero no sé si está bien este ejemplo. Si está malo, la sacamos de la clase. La expulsamos, está malo. Ok. No, no. <laughs> I would oh, like Don to go to work tomorrow. Ah, ok. Lo digo en negativo, pero negativo. Vamos a ver aquí. Darina, veamos la pantalla. Can you see the screen? Sí. Vamos, vamos. Acá está el negativo. Ok. Repitámoslo. I will, wouldn't, wouldn't, will, ¿cómo es? Will, wouldn't, will, wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't, I wouldn't like to go work tomorrow. Go to work tomorrow. Okay. Yes. yes. Because okay. I, I, I like sleep. <laughs> All morning. We, we love sleeping. We love sleeping. Nos encanta dormir. Porque la psicología es bien bonita. Fíjense que el domingo, bueno, en mi casa sabe domingo, quiero dormir hasta las 10. Me despierto a las 5 de la mañana, todo sábado y domingo. Ok. Y el lunes a viernes no me, quiero, no me quiero levantar a las 6. Pero el sábado a las 5 estoy despierto. Psychology. Es no, es psicología. De lunes a viernes usted quiere, dormir. usted quiere dormir, dormir hasta las 10. Pero no puede, tiene que despertarse a, la, a, la, a las 6 por lo menos, o a las 5, depende de donde, donde trabajen. Pero en mi caso, a las 6 me despierto, a las 6 y no quiero. Pero el sábado y el domingo, a las 5 estoy despierto, ya me quiero levantar. ¿Qué pasa ahí? ¿Qué pasa? Ay, no. Y fíjese que, de hecho, el, el, el domingo, ese, bueno, ayer... Me desperté a las cuatro y media de la mañana. Ya no podía dormir. Así que puse a ver YouTube. Y puse a ver YouTube. Ya no me pude dormir. Sad. It is sad, people. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Uh, we're going to continue, okay, here with this part. Vamos a incluir una persona. ¿Se acuerdan de esta parte? Que incluimos una persona. Es la misma estructura, solo que en este caso ya no, no es el sujeto que hace la acción, sino que es el objeto. Aquí está acá. Okay. The object is the one that makes the action or does the action. Okay. I would like the employees 
se me olvidó el tú otra vez aquí. Was solo la copia la pequeña. Okay. Sorry, vivo. Ok, ahí estamos. Hoy sí. Teacher, ¿nos puede compartir la presentación? Yes, yes, of course, no problem. Ok. I would like to, I would like, sorry, I would like the employees. Me gustaría que los empleados to check the email. I would like the employees to check the email. Me gustaría que los empleados revisaran su correo o el correo. Ok. Yes, así sería. All right. Ahora, vamos aquí. I need examples. Quiero ejemplos de acá, aunque sean unos tres o cuatro, cuatro participantes. De ese would like to, de ese would like con la persona y luego el to. I would like my friend to be with me. Oh, excellent. Good example. More example, people. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. More example, people. ¿Cómo se dice comprar? Buy. Ok. I would like the... No, I would like my boss uh -huh, uh -huh. to buy to pay new oh. computer. To pay, con pagar o to buy. No, comprar, comprar. ¿Cómo es comprar? Buy, buy. Buy. Okay, uh, pues I would like my boss to buy new laptop. <laughs> okay, to buy new laptops, that's perfect. Uh, thank you, Marce Marcela. Yes, thank you, Marcela, Karina, and Rosemary for your participation. Uh, let's continue here. Somebody else? I would like my dog to speak to me. Repeat, please. I would like my dog to speak to me. Ah, my dog to talk, to talk to me. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, you're, I, if you say my, if you say my job, is in my dog, okay? Ah. Yes, that's, that's perfect, that's perfect. All right, since we're, we're, we're like, yeah, we need to continue. All right. We're going to continue with the negative form, uh, and it's this one, okay? Negative people, usamos solamente el would not, okay? En este caso lo hemos colocado como wouldn't, wouldn't. Ahí está, como pueden ver, negativo, wouldn't. Okay, now, but this ones, I'm going to ask people, I'm going to ask people directly, okay? Elegiré a personas directamente. Uh, let's just start with, with Magdiel. Magdiel is going to give us an example in a negative form. Magdiel, please, hear us. Hello. Um, I wouldn't like to get up early. Okay, I wouldn't like to get up early. I think no, no one would. <laughs> Me too. Okay, next is, next is, uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Carlos Alemán, can you please? Yes, teacher. Um, I don't know if I say right, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't like to work anymore. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> like to <laughs> work anymore. <laughs> um, I have money, I have money. Ah, oh, okay. That, that's okay. Good for you. Uh -huh. he, says, he says that he has money. He wouldn't like to work anymore. Perfect, man. Go ahead. All right. Excellent. Uh, Carlos Pascasio, go, please. Okay. I wouldn't like to eat meat. Ah, uh -huh. por qué? Okay, that's that's okay. I ate meat yesterday. It was good. All right. Let me continue here with Andrea. Andrea Sofia. Hello. Hello, teacher. Go, Andrea. Thank you. 
I go I wouldn't like to practice deport sports. 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 Mm -hmm. I wouldn't like to practice sports. Okay, no. It's good. I don't like. <laughs> you don't like sports. Okay. Okay, that's okay. People, let's continue. Look at this. Polite and formal requests could. We have could here. We look at the red part, the red letters. They say we use could for making polite and formal requests. In this moment, we're going to see the use of could, but only in the questions, okay? Because uh, we use we use could for the affirmative, negative, and questions. But in questions is when is when we use requests. Okay, en preguntas es que usamos esa solicitud o esa request. Request es solicitud o un favor, prácticamente, okay? Así que veremos la estructura de la pregunta. All right, let's go. And over here, I think it is here, pero creo que aquí está mejor. Uh, how to use good, it says here, how to use good for polite and formal requests. Uh, the modal verb could, listen, listen to this. The modal verb could is used for polite and formal requests. Structure, you see it there. And then we have some examples here. Okay, people, uh, something interesting here that you can see is that, decirles acá de uno, de una vez. El could en sí ya es formal, ya es formal. Así que este please no es necesario realmente, okay? Porque ya usamos el could y el could ya suaviza lo que estamos uh, expresando o lo que estamos pidiendo o solicitando. Así que el please no es necesario, pero está bien. Se puede usar sin ningún problema, así como está acá. Pero no es completamente necesario. Okay? It's not like, like totally necessary. All right? So you can omit it or you can use it. That's your, your decision. All right? Yes. And the structure, the structure is this. Esa es la estructura, pueden verla. Could, usamos could al principio, ¿ok? We start with could. Then we use subject. Subject, ¿ok? Yes. Then we use verb and complement. Usamos el could, luego el sujeto, luego el verbo y luego el complemento. All right? Yes. Normalmente, uh, normally, normally, we use, we use este, usamos, ¿ok? Regularmente se usan estos dos sujetos, el I y el you, ¿ok? Frecuentemente, bueno, well, más bien, casi siempre se usa el you, ¿ok? Porque es en segunda persona. Le pido un favor a una persona en segunda persona. Yo y la persona que está frente de mí, ¿ok? Could you, could you, ¿ok? Se podría usar she, se podría usar he, pero es como que el... Le decimos a, a alguien que está con nosotros que si alguien más lo puede hacer con nosotros. Que... Entonces, no, no. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's good. But, but it's... it's uh, normally, normally, we use you. Could you. Okay? Y como dije, como dije, like I said, could es un favor. ¿Qué significa podría? Okay? O podrías. Podrías. Podemos decir que could you... Significa, people, podrías, si hablan con un amigo, ok, de manera formal, o si hablan con alguien, podría usted, ok, depende del contexto, depende de cómo usted lo quiera escribir, ok, de esa forma, all right, podría usted y luego lo demás, all right, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, could you open the office? Podrías o podría usted abrir la oficina? Okay, that's, that's how it goes. Could you open the office? Okay. Es bien sencilla la estructura. Como dije, iniciamos con el could, luego seguimos con la persona, en este caso es you. Okay. Luego el verbo y luego el complemento que usted le quiera colocar al verbo. Could you write the weekly presentation? ¿Podría usted escribir la presentación semanal? Okay. 
Could you send the reports? ¿Podría usted enviar los reportes? And the last one says, could you check the shipment? ¿Podrías revisar el envío? Ok, así es como va. Examples, más ejemplos acabado. Could you up, uh, upload the files, please? Could you, well, upload, descargar o subir más bien a internet. Ok, ¿podrías subir los, los archivos, por favor? Uh, could you close the window and could you pass me the folder? Uh, sometimes we use please at the end of the question. A veces usamos el, el por favor al final de la oración o de la pregunta en este caso. Okay, guys, do you have any questions about this? No, teacher. No. No question. No. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Okay, people, usamos, usamos el quien de igual forma. Okay. Usamos el quien de igual forma, así como lo pueden ver. Can or could, cualquiera de los dos. Okay, could you, luego el verbo, luego complemento. Can you open the office or could you open the office? Okay. Todo lo que quieren es como sería, pues, puedes abrir la oficina y en cambio el cuides podrías. Ok, suena más suave. Ok. It's más polite. Es la misma estructura. Ajá, exactly, exactly. Vamos abajo, lo último que está al fondo. Dice, can is very informal. Ok. No, no, es, que, no es que sea informal. Ok. Yo no lo veo informal, sino que lo veo común o casual. Ok. It's, 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 it's not informal, it's more like it's very common and casual, okay? With family and with friends. Use it with family and friends, right? But could, could is very, very formal, okay? It's más formal, más educado, más cordial. With your boss, with your supervisor, okay? Or your superiors, okay? Usamos el could. Aunque podríamos usar el can con superiores, con el jefe, pero depende de la... la confianza, ok, yes, so, prácticamente el can es informal y el could es formal, pero se usan de la misma forma, ok, para solicitar algo, ok, to, to ask for requests, ok, yes, all right, sí, excelente, vamos, seguimos, acá tenemos uh, some, some verbs open, let me, let me repeat them. Open, close, upload, upgrade, deliver, report, check, write, send, read, present, prepare, clean, help, turn, make, edit, uh, create, draw, outline, organize, schedule, install, maintain, do, file, and turn in. Okay, those are some verbs. Uh, questions about the verbs? Turn in. Turn in, entregar. Maintain. Maintain, mantener. Outline. Outline es organizar, preparar. Outline dijo organizar, preparar. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuál es la diferencia con organize? Ok. Um, or, ok, le explico. Outline más que todo es para documentos. Ok. Por ejemplo, una reunión. Ok. Documento de, de Word. Si usted crea el documento, el outline, el outlining es como uh, ver cómo comienza. Como, es como un guión, ¿ok? Pero es, pero es organizar, pero como un guión, ¿ok? ¿Sí? O cuando quiere escribir una historia, una historia, usted hace el outline antes, como de lo que va a escribir, ¿ok? 
Es como una descripción, pero es organizar. Organización, en, eh, cuestión de escritura. Exactly. En organize, no. Ok, eso es ya, ya en general, ok, cualquier cosa. Ya, ya, eso, D, R, A, W. Ah, dibujar, dibujar. Draw, draw. No more? Ok, seguimos. Oh, se me olvidó. Ay, me escapó. Acá. Quiero ver. Se me escapó la respuesta, tipo. La respuesta es sencilla, ok. Decimos, yes, I could. Ok, simple. Or no. Okay. Okay, aunque aunque mejor aunque mejor no pongamos eso suena muy feo pongámosle uh, of course no problem sure ok suena mucho mejor decir que decir eso que dije antes ok mm. I've got it sorry I've got it Sounds good, sounds good. You can simply say okay, okay? Yeah, all right, very good. Seguimos, let's continue. Vamos. Okay, it says here, make your own questions using could. Okay, make your own questions using could. Dice que vamos a entrar por preguntas usando could. Vamos a ver, iniciamos, okay, with examples. Uh, Raúl, hello, Raúl, you are the first one. Hello, teacher. Okay, go. Could you close the car? The what, sorry? Could you close uh, the car or the door of car? The door of the car. Uh, the door of the car. Okay. Um, could you upgrade the play? The what, sorry? Could you upgrade mm -hmm. the cell phone? Okay, okay, thank you. That's that's okay. That's okay. Seguimos, seguimos. Uh, we haven't heard from. Aquí no hemos escuchado este día. Okay, Fanny. Hello, Fanny and Cesar. Fanny, hi. Go, Fanny. Hi, teacher. Ahorita. Um. Nine. You call be here tomorrow, teacher. Repeat, please. You call be here tomorrow. Could you? Es que al revés, es al revés. Could you? Um, uh, call you call here tomorrow. As, as es, venir, es venir, ¿verdad? Could you come here? Come here tomorrow. Okay, okay, that's that sounds good. That sounds good. All right. Uh, thank you, Fanny. Cesar, go, Cesar. Could you edit the company page? Okay. Could you edit the company page? Okay. I think you guys got it. Vamos a practicarlo acá en esta parte. Okay. It says, uh, well, there's no indication. Pero tenemos, tenemos unas situaciones acá. Tenemos el primero. Look, I'm going to Starbucks. Estoy yendo o voy para, para Starbucks. Y la, la persona le dice, hey, could you please get me a cup of coffee? Ok. 
And this one in, in number two, les ayudo en la número dos, para que vean cómo se hace. I'm going to the library. Estoy, voy yendo o voy para la, para la biblioteca. Podríamos escribir, could you, could you get me a book, please? Okay, right? Could you get me a book, please? O otra pregunta puede surgir también. Uh, could you turn, turn in this book for me, please? Okay, turn in es, es entregar, okay? Entregar. Sí? Okay, people. Siempre, siempre hay que utilizar el please. Sorry. No, 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 no. El please no, no es necesario, okay? It, that's not necessary. That's not necessary. Okay. Pero eh, sería, no es necesario solo cuando utilizamos could you o también cuando o con quien también. Con ambos se puede usar. Con ambos se puede usar. Sí. Okay. Yes. People, go. Démosle, trajamos esta parte. Could you teach me more words? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to English. I'm, I'm going to our English class. Okay. Could you take, take me a glass of water? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do this this live right now, right now. Okay. El que pueda que me lo diga. Okay. I'm going to our English class. Tell me. Tell me. Qué podemos decir? I'm going to our English class. Could you tell me at what time it is? Okay, 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 there you go, there you go. That's a good one, that's a good one. Yes, yes, what else, que más? Well, let's, number four, number four says, I'm going to the kitchen. Guys, I'm going to the kitchen. Could you turn in me a, uh, a pieza, como es? A piece. Could you turn me in a piece? Mm. Mm -mm, no. Turn, turn, turning es, es entregar, pero no, 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 de, no en ese aspecto, sino que documentos o libros. Ok. Would you bring me a cookie? Ajá, suena mejor bring me. Or, or get me. Get me es conseguirme, ok. Bring me o traerme, ok. Thank you, Rosemary. Ok. Uh, well. Let's continue with number five. I'm going to London. People, I'm going to London. Will you bring me a shirt to, from the Chelsea? Okay, yes, uh -huh. a Chelsea shirt. Could you bring me a Chelsea shirt? Okay, that sounds good, that sounds good. Number six, I'm go sorry? No, 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 nada. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to the vegetable market. Guys, I'm going to the vegetable market. Could you bring me uh, some potatoes? Okay, could you bring me some potatoes? Okay, good, good, excellent. Uh, next is I'm going to McDonald's. Oh man, hamburgers. Oh, delicious. <laughs> I'm going to McDonald's. Could you buy me a hamburger? Okay, yes, I will, Rosemary. Thanks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, next people. 
I'm going to the post office. Could you bring me a letter? Okay, could you bring me a letter, okay? Next is, uh, I'm going to the pet, to a pet shop. People, I'm going to a pet shop. Pet shop es una, es una. ¿Cómo se dice llevar a mi perro? O sea, llevarlo. Sí. A, a, la, a la venta de perros. No, <laughs> llevar al perro. Could you please take my dog? Llevar. Ah, ah, ¿cómo? Take my dog. Take my, take my dog. O take, ¿se utiliza como? Llevar. Yes, yes. Llevar. Ah, take. Okay. Ah, pues, could you, could you please take my dog? Se okay. puede. Irán a la, a la tienda de mascotas y usted lleva, usted lleva la, el perro a, a venderlo. No, pues tienda, yeah. pero también hay, no sé, que le puedan cortar el pelo, no sé. No, no, no. <laughs> ok, it's ok, it's ok, thank you. All right, next people, I'm going home. I'm going home. Could you give me a ride? Okay, can you give me a ride? All right, people, thank you. There you go. And now we're going back to the book. Vamos al libro. Todos tenemos el libro, ¿verdad? Do you guys have the book? Yes. Here. All right. We're going to work on, pay, on, on part number four. Okay, en la parte cuatro, si, it says, Write five requests that your boss could ask you next week. Escribe cinco solicitudes que tu jefe podría preguntarte la siguiente semana. Ok. If you want, si ustedes quieren, pueden ponerlo de esta forma, como lo voy a colocar acá. Aquí. Ok. Vamos a decir uh, Wilbert. Es el jefe, ok. Could you... Go to San Miguel to <laughs> pick up some documents. Okay. Hey, Wilber, could you go to San Miguel to pick up some, do some documents? Okay. Es un ejemplo, si quieren, okay? Really? Really, boss? <laughs> yes. Really? Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. We can use the same pattern. Okay, Wilber, 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 Wilber. Okay, oh, uh, Rosemary, Rosemary, Mauricio, Mauricio, Mauricio. Okay, yes. Cinco, okay, five. Go, people. Let's do this quickly. Okay, es la parte cuatro, okay. Mientras yo les envío acá en el chat, les voy a mandar el, the presentations. Ya la van a recibir. Okay, I sent you the presentation for the week number four. 16, 17, and 18. Okay. La del jueves, viernes, y la del día de ahora.
teacher. Mm -hmm. Una consulta. Está bien dicho, call you cover for me at meeting tomorrow. No, do you cover at the meeting for me? Will you cover at the meeting for me? Sería. Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Eh, ¿Podrías acompañarme o apoyarme? Could you support me? Could you support me? Uh, also, you can say, could you back me up? Okay, thank you. Teacher, punto yes. de vista. Point of view. Point of view. Chat. Thank you. Got it. Finish. Okay, thank you.
Okay. Now we're going to do this. Is we're going to construct. Vamos a construir una 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 conversación, pero but it's not going to be a uh, tan tan extensa. Vamos a hacer grupos bien pequeños. Lo haremos cuatro grupos de de cinco y de cuatro. All right. And everybody, please, like, like, create a conversation. Creamos una conversación, okay? A uno se una, permítanme. Creen la conversación entre todos, okay? Using could, se pregunta, hace esa pregunta así ustedes al azar, okay? Yes? Okay, hello, hi, how are you, etc., okay? Yes. Hey, teacher. Oh, let's go, let's go, vamos. Rápidamente, we have very little time. Hay que escribirlo o solamente conversarlo. Hi. Hola. Teacher, eh, una consulta. Hay que escribirlo o solamente conversar, conversarlo. That's, that's your decision. Hoy. That's your decision. Ok. No problema. Yo que mejor lo escriban. <laughs> Se escucha lejitos. Lejito. It's my parrow. Yes. <laughs> Its name is uh, Apollo. Gracias. Así. Es a mí. No la puede ver. Sí, es cierto. Por eso apague la cámara porque le iba a dar miedo. Yes. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Sorry. Don't worry. Entonces, ahí ustedes deciden cómo lo iniciamos. Okay. Hello, Karen. Hi. ¿La iniciamos así? Yes. <laughs> ok, Jonathan. Ok. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. <laughs> Una pregunta. Puede ser Hello. con Ruth o puede ser con Ken. Okay. Podemos poner este what are you doing? Y usted nos dice qué está haciendo y qué. Pongámosle que Jonathan es, es su jefe, por ejemplo. Entonces él le está preguntando que qué está haciendo y usted le dice que, que tiene tiempo libre. Entonces, posterior a eso, es que le pide favores aprovechando que se tiene ese tiempo libre. Imagination. Lo típico que siempre que llegan no estás haciendo nada. O sea, o sea que lo cachan con las manos en la masa uno siempre. Lo que me pasó a mí ahora en la mañana. Oh, no. Tenía una hora libre y me fui a comprar mi desayuno a las 8 de la mañana. Y sale el director, bueno, el dueño desde la segunda planta y andaba afuera. Y me dice, señor Karen, y me le quedo viendo, dígale. Y en el libre ahorita, me dice yo, sí. 
necesita algo, le digo, no, 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 solo preguntaba, porque andaba paseándome con un café por toda la, por toda la acera del colegio. Qué mal, I'm sorry. Oh, no. O sea que, o sea que eso le preguntaron hoy en la mañana. Sí. <laughs> you have free time in this moment. No, es que no, es do. Do you have free time in this moment? Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. Do you? Okay. People continue. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. He says, hello, welcome to Big Burrito. Can I, can I get No, es que, <laughs> es que allí eso, le, le faltó borrarlo porque no iba así. a... Ajá, okay. Okay. Sorry. No, no sé si así se dice. Okay. Sauce. Okay. Sauce, sir. Sauce. ¿Quién eres? Oh, sí, R. Así. Sauce. Y ese... Medio lo buscamos y quiere decir platillo de comida. Platillo Entonces, sí, de comida. Sí, pega. Teacher. Uh -huh. No sé si está bien el hecho de que se ocupe some sauce, o sea, como platillo, algún platillo. Hey, hello, can you recommend some sauce? Así dice usted. Sí, como lo ha puesto él ahí, que si sí está no. bien que le dice, hola, ¿podría recomendarme un platillo de comida? No, no. sauce es salsa. Ah, salsa. Ah, es... ah, pues entonces, no sé. ¿Y cómo se dice platillo? Sí, puede ser dish. Ah. Ok. Yes, I am recommending you special of the food. ¿Qué le vamos a poner aquí? Ajá, que, que llevaba. Uh, ok, and I called you, tell me what is the ¿Qué, ingredients. ¿qué me, ¿Me podría explicar cuál es el platillo de la casa? Era. Ah, sí. Y cómo, Ajá. Bueno. Es, sí. ¿O qué ingrediente? Oh, ajá, ¿me podría explicar cuáles son los ingredientes que trae? Ingredientes. Así me Así, ¿verdad? Y si me lo escucharon, porque voy a poner comparte de comida que no conozco. Yes, source. Sí, Sería la, la P. Ok, and could you. Quitamos el SN, no va a SN. Perdón, ¿dónde? El ah, eh, ok. Ah, perdón. Este, este, uh, and acá sería what the ingredients. Este is, borrémoslo. Y pongámosle are, pero al final. Después de ingredient. Yes. With es W. W. H. T. Perdón. Yo lo confundí. Avocado. Aguacate. Sí, avocado. Es con V, no es V. Avocado, avocado. 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 Lechuga. ¿Cómo se escribe lechuga? Letuce. Letuce, doble T. Doble T. Letras. No, lechuga, dijo así. ¿Y pechuga de pollo? Mm -hmm. Chicken breast. Chicken breast. Adere, aderezo ranch. Chicken. ¿Cómo se dice aderezo? Mm -hmm. Topping. Topping. Mm -hmm. Topping ranch. Branch top. Seguimos, seguimos. Ajá, que ya. Ahora Raúl que diga 
¿Qué podría agregar? Si sí pueden llevar la bebida o algo así. Ah, no, porque... No, porque Ajá, vamos a ir a cenar, o sea... Pero podríamos ir a cenar a un lugar, a la casa de alguien, por ejemplo. Ah, sí, sí. No. Pero traer, no sé cómo es. Bring, bring, bring. De... Bring. Drink. De, 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 de. Drink es beber. De drink, uh -huh. sí. Pero también se puede usar como un tipo de bebida. De verdad. Ok. Sí. Ahí está el profe, pues. Eso, que nos aclare. Drink se puede usar como una bebida. Drink. Sí, yo era ayuda. Would you the drink? Pero drink lleva como este. Drinks. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, the drinks to the dinner. Eh, en vez de could you, podría ser could I. Podría yo. Like bring the drink. Uh -huh. Y alguien que responda, ya está todo por, por, pa, para responder. A la de, could you take me to my house? Y could you bring the drink? Mm. And you bring the drinks, Raúl. Ah, sí, es cierto. You can, creo que sí. Tú puedes llevar la bebida. I prefer. Tonight es, es, es uh, HT al final. Perdón. Ok. ¿Cómo vamos, teacher? Bien. Yes, yes. Could I bring, could I bring drinks? Yes, I. Pongámosle, I can take you to your house. I can take. I can. Take you to your house. Pero ahí sería como llevarte a tu casa. Pregunto. ¿Cómo puedo recogerte en tu casa? Ah, ¿Eso quiere poner? Sí. Uh -huh. ah, entonces sería que no hay, que no hay, al revés sería. No, pero ahí es como respondiendo a donde digo yo, yes, could you take me to my house? No, pero ahí queríamos decir como podrían recogerme. No dejar. Desde uh -huh. mi casa. Ah, me perdieron. <ríe> es que ahí creo que pusimos como llevarme a mi casa cuando queríamos decir recogerme desde mi casa. Ahí en donde dice Silvia, la última. Casi la última. Ajá. Así es recoger. Yo, yo, uh, could you pick me up? Pick, en vez de take me, es pick me. Could you pick me 
up in my house. All right, continue people. Oh, sorry. Go on. I'm going to the last one. Ahí la terminamos. Sí, de ahí creo que ya... Vamos a ver eso, Matiel. Bueno, entonces puedes poner ahí a Matiel. Y ahí que Matiel se despida. Nice to see you, my friend. <laughs> Tenemos unos errores ahí. Tenemos la etiqueta, a ver cuáles son para. Ok. <ríe> Todo. Todo. <ríe> ok, vamos arriba. La primera parte sería What time is What time it is? Al revés. Ok. Okay, acá se quitamos ese, 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 ese ad, sería it's. El is va al final, aquí este is va al final. Esto no va, ese is no va. Tampoco el tú no va. Mayúscula. ¿Y qué hizo poner ahí? The final exam could, could be on Wednesday. ¿Qué quiso decir ahí? Que podría ser el, el, el miércoles. Ah, oh, ok. Oh, no, I forget it. ¿Qué quiere decir? No, I forget it. Could you do it again? Ahí, teacher, donde dice I forget it, lo quisimos poner como, ah, lo olvidé. Pero no sé si va bien el verbo en ese... En presente o no sé si en pasado. Mm. I forget. O es la expresión está bien. Forgar, forgar, pongan la, 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 la bomba de la E. Ok. Bye. Lo demás está bien dicho. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, well done. Oh, no, sorry. I'm sorry, César. Hey, qué mala onda. No, time is over. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, César. Y tengo el tú. I just let me tell you. I see, let me tell you. I said, you know what? You don't have more opportunity. <laughs> Pongámosle acá. You don't have another chance. Chance. Another chance. Se escribe chance. Okay, what time is it? I think it's time to see. Sí, vamos a regresar porque ya es tarde. <laughs> okay, pero sí, you, you were working. Okay, so, la de acá, luego espero, esperen que lo corrijamos todo acá rápido. Okay, uh, could we have another chance? No, ese, ese chance era arriba, arriba. I, I'm sorry, Cesar, let me tell you, you don't have another chance. Another chance. Another, 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 N, la N le faltó. Unido. Ok, luego, eso, uh, could we have a meeting, estaba bien, eso que pusieron ahí. Ok, pues, se nos acabó el tiempo, vamos a regresar. See you people. Give me a sec, o sea, apaga la compu. Okay. 
Thank you most. Let's let's continue here. All right, here we go. And uh, let's see, let's see. All right. Uh, bueno, I was I was monitoring you guys. You were working on the conversation. You were using code. Okay. You had some mistakes, but that, that's not a problem. It's it's normal. All right. So thank you guys for for practicing and for participating. Okay. Yes. Let me take attendance. Paso asistencia rápidamente. Okay. De los que estamos acá, ¿quién no se ha quedado todavía? Porque no. Supuestamente yo me quedo hoy. Ok, entonces, thank you, thank you, Wilber. Entonces paso asistencia, actualizo. Uh, let's do this quickly. Alba Yanet. Present teacher. Ana Marcela no estuvo. Andrea Sofía. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. César Arquímedes. Present teacher. Mirata Mauricio. Present. José Jair. Present. Magdiel Esaú. Present teacher. Marcela Karina. Present teacher. Rosmeria Ayala. Present. María José Hernández. Present teacher. Raúl Arturo. Present teacher. Sandra Yanira. Present teacher. Silvio Guadalupe. Present. Wilber Alberto. Present. Fanny Judith. Present. Uh, Karen Yamilet. Present teacher. Es en Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Okay, people. Excellent. Okay. Well, do you have any questions, preguntas? No? Vamos a dormir entonces. People, see you tomorrow. Que descansen, que la pasen bien. Cuidan, ok. Good night, people. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night. everyone. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. See you too. Hi, Wilber. Hi, teacher. And we have this space, this time to. Clear any any question or any confusion that you might have about the topics. Or okay. I think the old topics uh, has been okay. All I need is practice, practice, practice. Yes, exactly, exactly. exactly. Uh, uh, I I don't know uh, how how. How, how I I will learn English, uh, but uh, by trying. Uh, that's that's learning all about. Okay, that's learning all about. Learning learning is about trying. Okay, aprender es intentar. Yes, you know? yes. My sentido. Uh, I put my 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 TV something sometime in 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 English language with subtitles. With subtitles. I try to understand uh, with my daughter. With my daughter, I, I we try it. I put my she pass she put her uh, her music. He he listen. He traduce. He he read traduce. I try to repeat. Your, your daughter or you? My daughter huh? and me too. Sometimes when I. When I have time. Okay, we have time. Okay, that, that's that's good. That's good. You have to listen to classic music is good. Classic music like is good. When I when I studied, my teacher uh, learned us with music. 
it was a motivation for me uh, and for that moment but, uh, I like it the English language that's good that's good yes and now uh, my no sé, mi meta my goal my goal oh, and now my goal is it's complete that 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 language uh, speak uh, speak language English speak the language okay yes yes okay oh let, let me tell you in Spanish no es no es fácil pero uh, practicando practicando nace el maestro sí eh, sí mucha práctica sí. mucha práctica y usted lo ha hecho muy bien usted lo ha hecho muy bien okay lo lo, lo he escuchado y sí Ah, anda bien. Anda Muchas, bien. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Sí, lo que me falta es... Eh, vi unos títulos, unos unos videos hace poco. Eh, sigo unas páginas, los tiktokers y famosos, todo eso, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hacen? Entonces yo a veces sigo unos que, que enseñan inglés y dicen algo muy, muy normal que ustedes lo mencionan muy seguido. Eh, no todo es literal lo que, lo que nosotros lo decimos. Y dice él una, dice una oración que no le entiende al principio, ¿verdad? Él agarra unos papeles amarillos, los pongo en mi frente y los quito y después los pongo todos, pero diciéndolo todo en inglés y yo no entendí nada. Después lo hizo literal. When I put my in my, in my front, bla, 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 bla. O sea, yo todas esas palabras las entendí, las entiendo, porque las vi literalmente. Pues, y ahí entendí, pues en realidad que uno lo que necesita es practice, practice, practice. Sí. ¿Verdad? Así es. Y la principio, una... principio para, para aprender hay que, hay que agarrar una cantidad de vocabulario buena. ¿Okay? Sí, Eso, me imagino. Ingerir, ingerir vocabulario. Ingerir, ingerir. Para luego, y luego aprender las estructuras de cómo armar, armar la oración para luego darle con todo en la práctica. Sí, porque las palabras que me cuestan bastante, que hemos tenido en clases, han sido las palabras, eh, bueno, no las hemos visto por completo, pero ha sido la palabra who, porque termina eh, con la palabra with al final, oh, como sí, diciendo sí. con... Pero eso es práctica, ¿verdad? ¿Con, con Entonces, quién? Ajá, ¿con quién? Te hace una gran oración solo para decir con quién. Mire, es interesante, la verdad a mí me gusta, creo que todos los que estamos aquí en clases, pues no, no, pues es por algo, ¿verdad? Y, y bueno, pues de mi parte, darle gracias, porque ha sido paciente con todos nosotros también, pues. Y ha sido, han sido buenas clases. Han sido buenas clases, te digo. Solo, te pido una pregunta, ¿cuánto tiempo a usted, en lo personal, cuánto tiempo a usted le llevó a, a tener el conocimiento que tiene ahora? Me fue bastante larga la historia. Yo comencé a estudiar inglés en el 2010. Pero no, no, no tenía la mentalidad todavía. Bueno, era maduro mentalmente hablando. No, no tenía ninguna meta, ningún objetivo. Solo fui a la universidad, me inscribí y listo. 2010 y 2011 fueron años que perdí prácticamente. No, no generé nada en mí, sino que solo iba y ya, listo. Uh -huh. En el 2012, eso fue porque agarré técnico en, en, en uh, bilingüe, técnico bilingüe, dos años. Luego decidí cambiarme de carrera a esa altura, a los cinco años. Ya cuando llegué a esa altura fue cuando ya vi la cosa un poquito más seria. Y ya empecé a madurar un poco más. Entonces, desde el 2012 encontré mi estrategia, para, mi, mi, mi forma de aprender. Uh -huh. En 2012, 13, 14, 15, ya en el 2015 ya hablaba bastante bien. No, bien. Sí, cinco, seis, pero seis, pero en, en mi caso, fíjese que yo me... ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo diría la palabra esta? Me obligué a aprender. Me obligué a aprender. Muchos me decían que cómo aprendiste, con, con, dónde fuiste, con quién, con quién. Pues fui yo solo. Yo sí. Tengo música, películas, series anime, vocabulario de todos, libros, pero todos los días, todos los días. Así hago yo más que todo a veces, si no le doy a las películas, porque tal vez la película es muy, 
es muy surrealista en cuestiones de vocabulario hacia, con tendencia muy americana y mejor me voy a los muñequitos y lo pongo más, son más eh, el lenguaje pues, más libre ¿verdad? en parte, pero sí, sí, pero qué bueno, sí, esa es, esa es la pregunta que inclusive hasta yo he tenido, que es esa la que le hago, ¿verdad? cuánto tiempo le ha costado en aprender, cuanto eh, las intenciones, porque yo, mire, la verdad es que las intenciones siempre me han gustado, siempre me ha gustado, y decir que tal vez voy a, no es que lo vaya a hacer, puede ser, puede funcionar, tal vez como una opción de un backup, de un trabajo, quien quita, verdad, no hay edad para eso. Sí, pero en ese caso, yo, en mi, en mi caso, me esforcé y pues tuve que, como decía mi ma un maestro, tenés que enamorarte del idioma. Sí. Y así, y así fue. Ah, mi, ti mi teacher, porque eh, mi teacher, obviamente de básica, me sorprendió tanto porque para esos días los CDs eran lo más caro todavía. Y los CDs, él llevaba un, su libreto de esos tipos de esos de de contabilidad, ya se imagina esos libros grandes, ahí traía varias músicas y nos decía, vale, vamos a poner la pizarra, vamos a decir qué es lo que dice, la traducción, la cantamos y listo. Cáncer Roses, nos llevó Cáncer Roses, ah, y las bichas lo que, pe sí, y las bichas lo que pedían para ese momento de los Backstreet Boys. Eh. Buenísimas. Sí, sí, son buenísimas porque la, las letras bien... Bueno, Sí, sí, bien entendible. Entonces eso fue lo que me gustó bastante y básicamente también mi teacher me motivó bastante a, a aprender la intención, el modo de como lo... Cada quien tiene su modo de aprender, de enseñarlo a uno, ¿verdad? Cada quien tiene su modo de, de ir aprendiendo. Pero sí. Bueno, siga adelante, Oliver. Siga adelante. Cualquier chance que tenga para poder practicarlo usted solo, no voy a practicarlo. Como se lo hace con TikTok, YouTube, tenemos facilidad ahora para hacerlo. Sí, 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 cabal. Tenemos amplio material en, en YouTube, en Google, en todos lados hay libros, PDF, cualquier cosa que se pueda descargar para aprender. Y que sí, y adelante, sí. Va bien, okay. te va bien, va excelente. Ok, muchas gracias y felicidades ahí porque me ha gustado la manera de enseñar. Right. Hey, thank you. Tal vez un puntito. Sí, 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 no hay problema. Perfecto. Dígamelo. Ah, tal vez porque he sentido, sentido que mucho divago. Yo he sentido que mucho divago cuando estoy esperándolo, cuando ya se va. Ese tiempo a veces me lo siento perdido, pero no es perdido por completo. Solamente es como un tip para, para que lo vea, ¿verdad? Tal vez ahí se pierde un poquito de tiempo. Nada más. Sí, está bien, está bien. Perfecto. Thank you, thank you. Ok. No ok. Hey, se cuida, buenas noches, ok. Gracias, buenas noches. Perfecto, descansen. Nos vemos.